Okay, so let's become Matthew Horn. Let's be the Horn himself. He hasn't had kids yet, has he? Maybe I could share some of mine. So let's take some makeup off. Let's use Clinique, take the day off. I've only just put the day on at about like 4.45. Let's take it off. I was making um, Uzbekistan, um, you know those women doing cooking out in the countryside? I was doing this Uzbekistan like meat pastry thing this morning for my kids and it was so good, it was so yummy. Do you think anyone liked it? Only me, just me. And they wanted to eat honey chicken from the, um, they just wanted to eat honey chicken from the Chinese shop from three days ago. So good luck to them. I'm gonna have pastries to eat for days, I think. Dana, he's gotta be very, um, he's very pinkish, isn't he? He's more like my natural color. So I've gotta take my, I've gotta take my tinted moisturizer off. I love him. This love, the love I have from him, like if you thought I loved Paul Rudd the other day, the love I have for him is like, oh, why didn't I like go and marry a white boy from Essex? And not a dickhead, like one like this. A good one. Okay, we're already halfway there. How can I make my face like less colorful? I think I need to make myself like a grayish, a grayishy, maybe like a peachy color, like this color, like a nothingy color. Let's see, maybe. I don't know. Even that looks like too much color. And I need to do some five o'clock moustache shadow, so that's fun. I don't know what colour to make my face. This is when I need like a theatre makeup. I might use my long com. It's getting a lot of wear, isn't it? I never wear I never wear it in real life. Just like, oop, put it on your face when you're doing a video, Sarah. Mmm, that can blank out my lips. To be more, more horned, horned map. What's his name? Yeah, Matthew. What is Matthew? Oh, Matthew. Oh, Matthew. I have to do his eyebrows too. He's got a nice, nice sort of eyebrows happening. And not too much. Just the way I like it. And then I can do his hair at the end too. That'll be fun. I might actually do that on my forehead. It's all coming together. Sort of. Do you, do you know how long ago I decided to do this? Like one minute ago. It's only three minutes in. <laughs> no, about four minutes ago. Do you plan everything, Sarah? Yes, of course. Just like my life. Okay. So let's give ourselves a little bit of a rose on the cheek up the top because he does have a lovely sort of upper cheek and he has lovely lines on his face he does have i think beautiful facial structure which i'm going to try to replicate with this smushiness probably can't but we'll see we'll use our um bronzing section of here of my flamingo tango whatever it is oh no benefit my benefit thing Let's try by giving us some, this line he has. Um, use a bit of that, maybe we go with some. Oh, just being like my kids in the lounge room again. Oh, this is where I need to shade one side of my face. So I'm going to play this. I don't know which side. What's this side? So I'll do it the other side. Sarah, I'll learn to do it the other side. And why would I do that? What would I learn? What did I learn? Okay, so I'm going to use the shadow. I'm going to do it as like 
actual shadow. I'm going to see how that goes. And if, if all else fails, I can just, you know, make it a real shadow with something else. Because <sighs> you know I'm an artist. A slapdash artist. The best kind. Okay, where's black? Luck is over there. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay. Oh, let's do our five o'clock shadow while we're here. What have we got the black? Let's do our five o'clock shadow. Seriously. Just like this. And he's got a beautiful knobbly chin. He's got this. He's got this chin. He's got a bomb chin, as you would say if you grew up in a country town. When I was growing up next door to us, there was a guy with this chin. And I swear to God, I wanted to marry him from the day I turned three. <sighs> My mum was always like, oh, he's such a cowboy. He's always in, in his truck and he worked and he was a garbage collector. And he was just like, so handsome to me. I just, I loved him so much. Probably had no idea what kind of effect he was having on the tiny little girl next door. Okay. What else? He does have pinkish... He does have lovely pink on his lips, so let's not forget. He does have a lovely shaped lip. I love him. I love you. I'm just going to leave my lip shape because it's not that dissimilar. It's not like a, um, it's not like a Paul Rudd. He does have ample lips, which maybe leads me to think we're from, we do have a similar looking blank face and we're related <laughs> genetically possibly but you know what's not to love got some more dark from here got some lovely shadows under here and under here and he's got blue eyes like me we can do the blue eyes like with Paul Rudd, it looked a bit more authentic too because we have the same eyes. When you have a different colour eye to someone you're doing, it's very tricky. I'm not just going to do blue-eyed people. Tray boring. But it does help with the whole reveal looks better because you your eyes really stand out against the makeup, don't they? Just answer your own question. Got such um like brownie sort of eyes. Now, what's going on with the eyebrows? They're much thicker than mine. I might just start them underneath. I might do them the same place, but just thicken up what's there on mine because I've got hardly hardly any eyebrows. He doesn't have anything really outside the shape of mine. I'm really enjoying this actually. So that's good. Very good. So, I'm going to do some more brownie brownie. I don't know why it feels like it's coming off. It's not coming off. Dead eye. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, and he's got these big lines down here. He's got these lines here and here. Draw the big lines, Sarah. Draw the big lines. Okay. And he's going like this. This one's like, I mean, he's got one here. Oh, that's going to be that way, isn't it? That's into there. This one goes down like this brush it down 
And then it goes like a scar looking thing. I don't know if it is, but I'll map you horn. I'll map you horn. The pipes, the pipes are called. From Glen to Glen and not the lightning. So I love this. Let's see how we're going so far. He's got to look happy. How do you do this face? Oh, it's bounced up. I've got his nubbly chin. What else? Brush more down the side of here. Draw. I hate you, the draw. Sorry, I think I've got the microphone. It's going to be so loud. Okay. I'm going to like blank out the other side to make it more authentic. I think that's it on the hair. We've just got to do the hair. <gasps> it can be so good with the hair. He's got almost black hair. And I do have, ow, just got my finger in a drawer for when the day's work. I do have my dark brown skirt. But yeah, that's fine. From Glen to Glen and down the mountain side. So his hair goes like, his hair does go like that. Holy cow, Sarah. It's going for me today. I love it very much. I wish I could put it on there. I wish I could put it on there without my hand being there. That would be uh, better for my whole life. Pull the skirt into a shape, Sarah. Hold it. Oh. Oh. Really working, is it? I need more of my forehead. The nose is good, needs a bit more shading on this side. It's silly with my hat thingy on, but oh shit. Should like make the impression that my nose is way deep. His nose goes down below mine. I don't know how that's going. <sighs> we'll see. What about like this? Is this better? I think you can see on my forehead. It's more of a forehead thing. And just pretend this is the hair. What have I done? He's, am I Google searching his actual OC searches? Yeah, like this. <laughs> oh, Matthew. At least we have vaguely the same color eyes. Look. His eyes. Twins. Twins again. Just twins with everybody, aren't I? See, our lips are nearly the same. God, I love him. Hope you guys have a nice afternoon. A nice afternoon. A nice, a lovely afternoon. Bye.